Hello and welcome to the latest episode in the Paron channel. Today we find ourselves in the kitchen and looking at my rather old fridge. Well, rather old, about 18 years old, just coming up for. And I did a hack to this fridge a couple of years ago to do some load shifting. And I'll explain what load shifting is in a minute. But um, I've just had to redo some of the software recently and change some of the timings on the Arduino. So I thought it was a good time to document this, do a video and complete an instructable. Now, load shifting. The idea of load shifting is to cool the items, or cool the fridge and the items in it at a time when uh, the electricity is cheap. And I originally, as I said, did this two years ago so that the fridge would pre-cool all its contents overnight using cheap electricity. And then during the day, the temperature would be set to a higher level and uh, obviously not use as much electricity. Now I've turned that on its head recently because the solar bonus scheme in New South Wales has uh, gone, uh, has finished January the 1st and I no longer get paid very much at all for my electricity that I generate. So I now get the fridge to cool down during the day and uh, using the solar electricity and then obviously during the evening and the night I actually turn the temperature up and it uses less electricity at those periods of time. How do we do that? Well, let's have a look at the front of the fridge and I apologize for sort of jiggly camera work. Um, I'm not using the tripod at the moment. So on the front of the fridge, we have a temperature indication at the moment uh, in the middle of the day, it's set to maximum. So that is the coldest. And this can be adjusted simply by pressing the button on the front of the fridge or freezer in this case. We've got the fridge and uh, freezer on two separate sort of circuits here. Now, if I was to just jiggle the camera a little bit more and take you to the top of the fridge, quickly. So hopefully that'll focus up. What we have here, I've got the control cabinet lid uh, is removed and inside we can see the main board here. We've got some of the parallel electronics, the fridge is all on so I'll be careful where I stick my fingers. But what I've done is I've added a little Arduino circuit here. More details obviously on the instructable but we have a, an Arduino uh, Nano We've got a real-time clock at the back of this circuit board here and a couple of read relays. And the read relays are simply wired in parallel with the buttons on the front of the fridge. So the real-time clock tells the Arduino what time of the week and what time of the day it is. And the Arduino then uh, outputs a certain number of uh, basically closed contacts, uh, as I say, in parallel with the button on the front of the fridge. And so that fakes the pushing of those buttons. So just to demonstrate that, I'll pause the camera, put it on the tripod pointing at the front of the fridge, and I'll show you what happens when the power goes off the fridge and then back on again. So here we are pointing towards the door of the fridge again, looking at the temperature. As I say, with the, all the LEDs lit, it's on maximum at the moment. I'm just going to power the fridge off, and then when I cycle the power back on again, it will briefly come up to the midpoint temperature, because that's its default temperature when it powers on again. And then you'll see the Arduino very, very quickly, within a couple of seconds, boot up, and it'll issue two button press commands, both for a fridge and the freezer, to crank that up to maximum. So here we go. Power off. And then power back on again. And as you see there, very quickly back up to maximum temperature. Obviously, if it was a different time of the day, then, then the fridge would, if it was in the middle of the night, for example, it would come back on and it would issue enough pre button presses to get it to the highest temperature, rather than what it did then was the maximum or the lowest temperature. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. See you now. Bye.